This is White Cliff Park, one of the top dive sites in Howe Sound. Howe Sound is a fjord that stretches from West Vancouver to the Sunshine Coast. And it's so close to Vancouver, only about a 30 minute drive, that it's a really popular place for people to come to scuba dive and just to enjoy BC's beautiful coast. This dynamic area has so much life just beneath the surface. One thing that makes House Sound really unique is the large amount of fresh water that runs off the surrounding mountains. It mixes with the salt water of the Georgia Strait, creating a nutrient-rich habitat for about 700 species. White Cliff Park, like other parts of House Sound, is in a state of constant change. We can only measure that change if we know what was here to begin with. That's why it's so important to catalog and take note of the different plants and animals that are living in these waters. This process of cataloging organisms is called taxonomy. Taxonomy also allows us to better understand the relationships between organisms. I'm gonna put my knowledge to the test and see just what lives beneath these waves. An important part of taxonomy is observation. What is the color, texture, and shape? What kind of identifying features does an animal have? Take the specific sea peach, for example. Its soft body might lead you to think it's some type of slug, but it's in a different animal group called chordata, which is actually the same group humans are in. These rockfish also belong in the group chordata. Like humans, these animals have backbones. There are many rockfish species in house sound, and they can be hard to tell apart. So that's why it's important for a taxonomist to have a keen eye. These giant plumose anemones make this area look like an undersea garden. These animals are classified in the group Cnidaria because they have stinging cells. Buried in the middle of each of those fluffy looking tentacles is an opening that functions as its mouth and its anus. That's right, what goes in must come out through the same hole. This sea pen is related to giant plumose anemones, making it a Cnidarian too. Its name, sea pen, comes from its shape because it looks like a quill pen. What you see here is not just one animal. Like corals, it's actually a colony of many tiny animals called polyps. This animal is classified in a different group. The California sea cucumber is an echinoderm related to sea stars and sea urchins. Don't let those spines fool you. It's actually a really soft animal. Take a look at that hole at the end of its body. Do you see it opening and closing? That hole is its anus, and the cucumber is sucking water in to breathe. There are some truly amazing things to see under the water. These were just some of the approximately 700 species that live in House Sound. Taxonomy allows scientists to keep track of the different organisms around the world and the relationships between them. This knowledge is important for the conservation of nature, especially in a place that is ever-changing. Continuing to learn is a big part of taxonomy, and we still have so much we don't know about the oceans. Who knows what we'll discover here next?